They're the most important words. They're also the hardest to say. But here is Daniel saying them to God. And when Jesus taught his disciples to pray, did he not tell them that confession was a necessary part of that? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Incidentally, have you ever noticed that when Jesus taught his disciples to pray, he taught them to use the plural, not the singular? He never said, now when you pray, say, my Father in heaven, forgive me, give me this day my daily bread. It was always us, we, our, the plural. He wants you to realize that you're a part of something bigger than just you. You're a part of we. And what's fascinating is that's how Daniel prays here. In this prayer, 16 times he uses the word we, 17 times the word our, 9 times the word us. In total, 42 personal words. In other words, Daniel isn't like aloof from his people, like I am the prophet and they have really sinned and I'm praying for them because they're bad and they're wicked. He said, I'm a part of the problem. Forgive us. He included himself in it. Sometimes we like to point our fingers at sinners. Daniel locked arms with them, held hands with them, said, I am in this with you guys. I'm a part of this. Something else, you'll note that Daniel's confession, and I think that one naturally follows the other. I believe the closer you get to God, the greater you sense your own sin and your own selfishness and your own need to clear the slate with God. One always follows the other. Classic example, Isaiah chapter 6. He gets that grand vision of God high and lifted up. You know the story. He sees God. It's wonderful. It's amazing. He's filled with thoughts of adoration. But he says, woe is me. Woe is me. I'm seeing this. Woe is me. I'm undone. I'm a man of unclean lips. I'm seeing God. And in seeing God, I'm also seeing me. And as I see me in the light of God, I say, woe is me.